that number is a dead heat there, but obviously the election is still several months away. But in April of 2016, Kelly Ayotte's decision to block a vote on the Supreme Court nominee, Merrick Garland, has fueled Democratic attacks on the airwaves. And it seems for the time being, at least, the attacks are chipping away at Ayotte's popularity. The Senate, U.S. Senate race in New Hampshire is going to be one of the biggest races in the country. That much we do know. What remains a mystery, though, is how the Supreme Court controversy will impact Senate Republicans on Election Day. Since 1875, every pending Supreme Court nominee has had a hearing or a vote in the U.S. Senate until today. After weeks of airwave attacks on the issue, Ayotte's favorability in New Hampshire has dipped to the lowest point of her Senate tenure. She is still above water, 41 to 38 percent, but it's a 13-point swing in the wrong direction for AOT since February. And pollster Andy Smith says the common denominator is the Supreme Court stalemate. So it's something that I think has been hurting her somewhat. I don't think this is going to be the critical issue in the campaign, but at this time it's causing her to do a lot of explaining, and in politics if you're explaining you're losing. So Ayotte maintains the lifetime appointment to replace the late Antonin Scalia is simply too important to leave to a lame duck president. But 60 percent of those polled do want the Senate to act this year versus 34 percent who agree that the Senate should wait. As for Ayotte's Democratic challenger, Maggie Hassan, her net favorability has dropped four points since February, but her head is still well above water in that area. And don't forget, Republican Jim Rubens is offering Ayotte a primary challenge this year. But despite running against and losing to Scott Brown only two years ago, 80 percent of those polled say they don't know enough about Rubens to form an opinion. All right, still a lot can happen in this race. Obviously, there's only one in five voters say that they have definitely chosen their candidate. This is just a snapshot in time. Live in the studio, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.